Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful kings and queens and viewers of the World Wide Web. This is Tune 215. And right now, we're going to be doing a hands-free, immersive walking tour of the Old City neighborhood in Philadelphia, PA. We're right by Penn's Landing on Delaware Avenue. We're next to the Ben Franklin Bridge. That's that bridge you see right there. Across the street, we have a little a little what you can call a riverfront bar it looks like it has a good amount of clients already early in the day it's like 3 10 p.m eastern time zone we're next to some luxury apartments i'm gonna take you guys i'll make a right on Ray street and i'll take you through like the heart of old city so that you guys could get a chance to see old city up close and personal I'll do my best to try not to walk that fast, but periodically I might go on autopilot and start speed walking. Please forgive me for speed walking. <laughs> right now I'm trying to walk slow. I'm trying to walk with a limp. We're next to Pier 12, the Philadelphia Marine Center. The old city neighborhood is bounded by Walnut Street to the south spring garden to the north fourth street to the west and the delaware river to the east on my right hand side check that out that's the patco train that's the patco train that comes from camden new jersey to Philadelphia. I don't know if y'all got a chance to see it, but yeah. And we're next to the entrance to 95, 95 North. It's nice weather today. It's like mid 60s, mid 60s, not too much sun. My type of weather. It's cloudy, but it's nice enough to be out here in like a t shirt, you know what I mean? T shirt weather. Give you guys a look at this bridge if you've never been under here. You check that out. This bridge connects Philadelphia to New Jersey. This goes from 6th Street in Philly to Camden. On my left hand side, we got Race Street Pier. That's one of our popular piers, one of our popular attractions. We're going to make this right on Ray Street. To my knowledge, make note that that pier, many years ago, there was a bar on the pier that collapsed. Yeah, a few people lost their life, and it was down for quite some time. And then they ended up rehabilitating it and making it a public pier, like a public walkway. We're in the city, so as you can hear, there's a lot of ambient noise that I can't predict. So I do apologize if it's noisy and or windy. We're walking right under 95. We're walking westbound. Behind us is eastbound. On my right is northbound. On my left is southbound.
You guys can see a little bit of floral life. You see the flowers are starting to grow. Awesome little doggy. We got that nice Monte Carlo on my right. And there was a female driving that Monte Carlo, guys. That was a 1980s Super Sport Monte Carlo with a young female riding it. And it was a clean Monte. We're on second and race. We got the 200 block of second street on my right, the 100 block of second street on my left. We're next to Mr. Barstool. Back when I was younger, I remember they had the Blues Brothers. Oh, there you go. I think this is the Blues Brothers, is it? They used to have the Blues Brothers right here. Like one of those type of statues, but right here. Yeah, I remember that ever since I was a kid. All right, if we go left, we got the Firefighter Museum of Philadelphia. It's a free museum. Uh, let's go straight. We got United by Blue on my right hand side. I'm going to cross Ray Street. We just came from Penn's Landing area. I'm going to try to do my best to walk by the ambience wherever there's people outdoor eating. Wherever there's, you know, people enjoying themselves, I'm gonna try to walk you guys through the crowd. Gentleman covering up his baby. You have several individuals enjoying outdoor dining. There's a little sneaker store and boutique right here. Old City Collective, meet, share, and grow. Co-working alternative. That female was pregnant. She was pushing some type of cargo carrier it looked like some type of clothes hamper passing patties which is a bar and pub on my left hand side old city is known for its nightlife so if you like going out to restaurants bars clubs this is the neighborhood you want to come to this neighborhood was also featured on an mtv show i believe the real world We had a young female jogging by with her headphones, spandex, and an A-shirt, listening to music and or motivation. She was probably listening to motivational speeches, right? That's the general attire for females in this neighborhood. A lot of the younger ones wear spandex, tight pants, tight shirts, whether they're walking, whether they're jogging. That's what they normally wear. Let's make this left right here on 3rd Street. We got 200 3rd Street behind us, 100 3rd Street in front of us. We got Sassafras Market right there. We got dry cleaning on my right. We're in the historic district of Old City. I'll let you guys see this side, might as well. That's the Paco train that's going back across to Jersey. It's kind of loud, as y'all already heard. We got police across the street on my right hand side. We got mmmodemodern.com on my left hand side. We have Metro Essentials, Third Street Hardware Store on my left hand side. We got Modular Furniture on my left hand side. Plants and things of that nature. So traditional hardware store. We got Blokes Barbershop Gentlemen's Emporium. 
We are Kindred Collective. We got Cafe Old, we just walked by. Give you guys an example of what this little area looks like. Just wanted you guys to see the people that were out there dining. We got Hotel and Salon on my left hand side, Barnett Fair. Passing Hunter Douglas by Allure. We got a florist shop across the street. We're on 3rd and Cherry Street. Claudia Mills Rugs showroom weaving studio on my left. Minoti, a poetic expression of sound and design on my left. Old City Jack, which is Jewish Arts Center on my left. Lehigh Valley Barber School on my right. Art in the Age on my right. Passing a lot of art stores, boutiques, things of that nature. We still haven't hit Market Street. Once you hit Market Street, that's where a lot of the bars and restaurants are at. The nightlife be up to like two, three in the morning, four in the morning. On Arch, we got OCP Grill, pizza and grill on my right. Homemade soup, fresh salads and more. We got Rocket Fizz across the street. We're next to the five bus, the 48 bus. You don't walk this? No, you don't walk. You fucking walk. Yeah, you walk me We got Starbucks coffee on my right hand side. I think this is, no, this isn't where they held. Where they did the real world, it was in a building, something like this. I think it was more closer to South Street, probably. It looked like this was it. I could have sworn this was it. This is Art Street, right? I think this is it. We got the Betsy Ross House. Admission and museum right here. Welcome to the Betsy Ross House tours, Thursday through Monday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. We had two what looked to be nannies pushing uh, <laughs> eight or so kids. I try to do my best to when I get to corners with a lot of activity, I'll just slow down, do a full 360 pan. Founding agency and showing the start, Mulberry Market on my right. Sports medicine, Wallace and Nilan, physical therapy. Cute dog. Wow, they had some hot dogs. Awesome dog. Oh, it's a lot of dogs. This dude got a ticket. There's a lot of dogs out here, a lot of dog walkers. We got Little Boys Court. <laughs> that is the strangest name to ever name a street court place, lane, whatever you want to name it, that's the strangest name ever. Little Boy's Court. <laughs> Fred Astaire Dance Studios right here. We're back on 2nd and Arch. If we go about another block forward, past the 95, you'll be back on Delaware Avenue. So for the purpose of this tour, we'll probably stay like I can stay on 2nd Street, or I can go forward and show y'all the back block, which is Front Street. 
I'm gonna go here for now. If we need to come through Front Street, we'll come through Front Street. Let's cross Arch Street. We're crossing Arch. Yeah, I think they did shoot the real world on Arch. The real world was a reality MTV show. The real world was a reality MTV show that they shot here in Philly back in like 2001, 2002, 2003. And they used this area, Old City. Came out on television, so this is what people got a chance to see when they saw footage of Philly. Poetry Row. We're next to this giant shoe. Look at that giant shoe. NE Flower Boutique. Shoe shines and facials, haircuts and shaves. It must be a barbershop. Gallery 51. Muse Gallery on my right. We got the Arden Theater. This theater is an awesome theater. They do live theatrical performances like plays. It's called the Arden Theater. Look it up. I've been here before. This is a cool spot to pick. Um, for like the weekends when you're going out, if you're going on a date or, you know, you want to go somewhere that, you know, you're into the musical, theatrical arts, this is the spot where you want to go. Visit www.ardentheaterorg.com. The Arden, A-R-D-E-N, theater. It's a nice spot. They've turned off the lights to make it more immersive. They'll flicker them, the sounds, the acting. It's like a live show. Kind of like a Broadway show, except it's not on Broadway. It's here on 200 West Filbert. We got the Cobblestone Old City Style Road. In Old City, you'll see a lot of these historical placards. Christ Church, founded in 1695. Erection of present building, begun in 1727, etc., etc. You'll see them scattered throughout Old City. We got Miles Sim Line Rosette. There's a lot of interesting uh, stores over here. Books and art, CBD vape and smoke shop. A lot of different abstract storefronts. Old Philadelphia congregations, you see? A lot of informational plaques over here for those of you who are interested in this type of information. When you walk through Philadelphia, Old City, this is the type of stuff you'll see. I'll show you guys that little alley. This is Church Street, 100 Church Street, and go figure, there is actually a church on Church Street. So that fits it very well. Look at this little cobblestone road. It's closed off to the public, but you can sit here. There's outdoor benches, the brick road. We got Mir, Argyles, Abington Aesthetic and Laser Medical Center. The book trader across the street for all you people who like to read books, that's the book trader. We got several individuals hanging out enjoying the weather yeah 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 yo i would never forget that song that song always reminds me of eight mile sweet home alabama remember that from eight mile the movie with eminem you remember remember yo what's up dog that remind me of the eight mile movie because <laughs> he started singing that when they were fixing the car all right, you got the entrance to Penn's Landing all over there. This is Market Street. We're on 2nd and Market. This is the eastern side of Market. I've actually walked from 2nd and Market. I've walked to 52nd and Market, and it's on my channel. I walk from here on the eastern part of Philly to West Philly, past City Hall and everything. If you take Market straight up, which is west, we're walking south. But if you take it straight west, you hit City Hall, Philadelphia. You got the Market Frankfurt line here, which is the blue train line that you guys see on other videos, like the Kensington videos. If you get on the train at Kensington and Allegheny, you can actually come here and get off right here. And then walk to, you know, all of the restaurants and all the pubs and all that.
We got the Continental. Oh, that's an awesome dog. Every time I see a dog, I just want to take the dog, shrink him, and put him in my pocket. <laughs> that sounds obsessive, right? I want to take your dog, ma'am, and shrink him and stuff him in my pocket. In my pocket. We have some outdoor eateries right here. It's outdoor dining. Very interesting. Has like that uh, cabana feel, like that Caribbean, right? I don't know if you guys got a chance to see it. It was like a Caribbean feel. It's starting to get windy. The stronger the wind blows, the more I'm gonna stay quiet. We're passing Black Horse Alley. We got Benjamin Franklin beer distributor across the street. Passing fine wine and good spirits. It's a wine and spirit shop. We got Insomnia Cookies. And we got Liberty Food, uh, Liberty Bell Food Market and May May. And we got something called the Bootleggers. A moonshine bar and restaurant. We passed a unique photo camera and video super center. So if you guys are ever in the area and you guys need camera gear, it's located in O City too. There's a, a video production and photography store here. They have some outdoor eateries across the street. I would definitely like to show you guys, but they got these chairs in the way. What's up, bro? Yo, yo, what's up, dog? There's a lot of dining going on right now. Sorry. As you guys can hear and see, business is booming. It's the middle of the afternoon and everyone's out dining. We're in front of Rotten Ralph's Old City Multi-Level Eating and Drinking Establishment. You have the Corn Exchange National Bank across the street. The Corn Exchange. We're facing 200 West Chestnut. I'm thinking I'm gonna go left because it seems like there's more activity going left. <laughs> you guys hear the music going on too. The most interesting part about that music is it's Spanish reggaeton. <laughs> it's Spanish reggaeton here in Old City. Whose idea was it to put that song on? We got United States Custom House across the street. We got a little tiny block over here. The Constitution Building. Espresso tea, pastries and desserts. European Republic. Chicken or lamb over rice with canned soda, $7.95. We got Viva Pizzas. Viva Pizza. Notice how they use like the Philadelphia Love stylization, the logo, the V I V A. Viva Pizzas. Look at these pretty purple flowers. Tapas, Evinos, Vision Graphics, Custom Picture Framing, Fine Art Printing. Passport photos, two photos, 15 bucks, four photos, 19 bucks of the same person. They made sure to emphasize of the same person. You can't mix and match. Look at all these flowers for all you flower connoisseurs. For all you flower enthusiasts, you floral freaks, you. <laughs> Look at this block right here. It's a nice block. Quiet, clean, historic vibe. Apple hostels or hostels. I said hostels. 
hostels. Isn't a hostel like a like a hotel, right? Pretty much. Who's ever seen the movie Hostel? Remember the movie Hostel? That was a horror movie. We got Zeno, souvenir, gifts, candy. Got a lot of Philadelphia memorabilia. We got the Beatles. We got Marilyn Monroe. We got Homer Simpson, Kiss. We got Bon Jovi. We got Star Trek. Philadelphia hoodies. Philadelphia uh, shot cups. Philadelphia keychains. A lot of different souvenirs, you can say. Museum of the American Revolution. That's this right here. Museum of the American Revolution. I'm going to cross the street so that you guys can at least see this. We're about a block shy of the border. We're about one block shy of the border. Look at Declaration of Independence. This bronze sculpture replicates John Trumbo's famous painting, Declaration of Independence, that is displayed in the rotunda of the United States Capitol. That's all I'm going to read, but check it out. I'm going to frame you guys right in the middle. I'm going to do my best. This is a like 3D painting. I say 3D because it protrudes out of the wall like it's uh, three dimensional and I guess they have a painting like this in the capital very interesting and they said it's made out of bronze so I can imagine this being a very expensive uh, artwork not only because it has historical value but because of the material. Now, if it was made out of copper, it's a wrap. We got Little Lion Public House. The Arsenal of Independence. Imagine this neighborhood filled with the sights, sounds, and smells of war. Philadelphia's trademen and women produce muskets, cannons, ammunition, wagons, ships, uniforms, and flags that helped to win American independence. In 1775, hat maker Benjamin Flower lived just a block from where you are standing. He joined the revolutionary cause and became com commissary general of military stores for the Continental Army. This portrait shows him standing among cannons and ammunition on what is now Philadelphia's Franklin Square. Wow. And these are the little cannons. Cannons to the left of me, cannons to the right of me. And this is the Museum of American Revolution. Our virtual museum is always open. Visit www.amrevmuseum.org. So we can continue going up that way. There's a building for sale right there. Condo. Well, it's actually a condo that's for sale. I don't think they want to sell the whole building. I see a nice historical looking building all over here. It looks boarded up. You see it? You see that building across the street? It looks boarded up. But there's not much activity going on over there. So for the sake of following activity, I'm going to walk this way. So you guys can see some some people, you know, some ambience. I don't want to take you to the quietest blocks. All right, we're on Chestnut. We're one block shy of Walnut, which would be the border anyway. Look at somebody's writing a ticket right here. Wow, that's like a two hundred dollar ticket. It's a. Uh, a handicap spot, no parking, handicap zone, they're in trouble. That's gonna be one expensive ticket. We got the Rough Life Doggy Daycare Lodging across the street. Check it out. Stop right here so you guys can see the architecture. Cafe Square One. Berkshire Hathaway. Opportunity Barks Behavioral and Training Classes for Dogs. Hey, buddy. Beautiful dog. <laughs> Beautiful dog. The dog looked cool. He had the shaggy hair. He was staring at me. 
the female i believe she was part of the doggy daycare program and she was we're passing the philadelphia chiropractic um spot in old city that's this spot right here philadelphia chiropractic so the female wow look at this little block over here i'm so tempted to walk through this little block dude you guys mind if i walk through this little block with the little follow the brick road right anyway cobblestone in this case so she had some pills and i guess she was giving the only, let me walk on the street because it's a little bumpy she has some pills, I guess. I don't know. The dog takes behavioral pills. <laughs> Did the dog have ADHD or something? That dog was loopy. That dog was high as ever. But, yeah. That's probably why the dog looked at me and, and, and thought about it twice. <laughs> I don't think dogs need behavioral health programs and stuff. Like, dogs are supposed to be crazy. <laughs> dogs are like children. They just need a little bit of attention, love, and care. All right, we're going to make this left on Bank Street. On my right, we got the 99 block of Bank. On my left, we got the one block passing Elbow Lane. I just want to take you guys through this little tiny block. Look at they're building a property right here, a property. And as you guys can see, they're laying the frost, which is a very tall, tall frost. Looks like a 10 foot frost. The frost is the foundation that holds up the house. It's made out of cement. We got Strawberry Court right here luxury apartments look at the block right here right in the heart of the historical old city neighborhood look you got private parking in some of these spots if you're worried about parking this looks like a nice little alleyway to shoot a movie it gives me that new york city vibe almost like manhattan or something right almost maybe halfway squint your eyes turn your head sideways and smack the back of your head and then you'll feel like no nah, maybe <laughs> uh. all right we got a cafe on my right hand side I gotta give him a little something. Here you go, sir. Five bucks so you and your lady could get some coffee or something. Yeah. Have a good day, buddy. So the best day. Yeah, rock on, rock on, buddy. Rock on. Yeah, he was there laying with his woman on the sidewalk and they weren't really asking. It looked like they might have had a little sign on the side, but they were laying on the ground. You know what I mean? Maybe he get some coffee, get himself a drink between him and her. 250, 250, split it two ways. Look, they got a 7-Eleven right here. So if they wanted something to eat, boom. They come here and, you know, look, 10 classic wings for five bucks. Spicy buffalo or roasted. So there you go. That five bucks could have just bought them lunch. You know what I mean? If they genuinely wanted food. All right, guys. So we are on third and market. I can go left. I can go straight. I can go right. For me, it's about where's the most activity. I'm going to go left. We just made a left on third street. We're on third and market. Independence, Orthodontics. We got another coffee spot. There's a lot of coffee shops. There's a whole bunch of coffee shops and I don't even really drink coffee, so it's not like I can appreciate the coffee shops. See, this shop right here reminds me of like some New York City stuff. You see how they got the back little fire exits and the fire escapes? Reminds me of New York City.
Oh, we already came through through here, right? <laughs> we definitely did come through here because I remember it is blocked. Anyway, it's cool. I'm going to just cross the street. I'm going to see if I can at least take you guys to the waterfront within the next 10 minutes or so. We just passed a nine bot electrical scooter. That's one of the brands that are out here nowadays. It's called a nine bot. We got Cafe Square One on my right hand side established in 2014. We got many more dogs. We're gonna make, should we make a right on Chestnut? Let's go one more block so that you guys can see this historical looking building. And then we'll make a right, come up uh, Market Street, and then we'll wrap ourselves around so you guys can see the riverfront. We'll try to do our best to make it to the riverfront before the end of this video. Where we're walking at now are the historical grounds of Philadelphia, where a lot of the early, uh, settlers i guess you can call them settlers and or officials of this nation walked once before in the past or i can say rode in their carriages look at this building a massive building right that building is massive this building is huge. It's larger than life. Like when you stand next to it, I feel like I'm standing next to like some type of art museum or something. Look at it. Imagine you lived in a house like this. That'd be one big home, right? That'd be one huge home. All right, we're approaching Walnut Street. Walnut Street is actually the border of Old City. This is southbound of the Old City neighborhood. On my left, we have another historical Rome-like building. Now, if you're new to the channel and don't remember when I fell here, I was doing a walking tour in the winter, it's on my page, and I fell crossing the street right here. It was a snowy day. I slipped, boom, I smacked and landed on the ground and I got right back up with lightning speed <laughs> and kept walking. Right here on this corner. I'll show you guys this building. Independence National Historic Park. Merchants Exchange. Let's make this right on the 300 block of Walnut. We're next to the 21 bus stop. As you can see, the SEPTA just went by, 21 SEPTA bus. Look at these buildings. Look at the details, Welsh and Wrecker. Look at that building right there, that little slot. Isn't that crazy? How it still looks larger than life. It got the Roman inspired columns with the Corinthian style capstones and the stone steps and everything but it's so skinny and it's so narrow, right? That's crazy. Polish American Cultural Center. The Polish American Cultural Center Museum Exhibit Hall. They got a lot of picture frames in there. We're next to Walnut Place. If we keep walking forward, we'll hit Washington Square and the National American Jewish Museum. We got real working shutters up here. You know, in Old City, they gotta have real working shutters. Real working shutters, ladies and gentlemen, not just for show. <laughs> Old St. Joseph's Roman Catholic Church, 1729, 18th century garden. Wow, guys, look at this. 
The recreated garden you see here incorporates many features of formal gardens in the 1700s. Neat pathways, geometric flower beds, small orchids and gazebos are characteristics of the early Philadelphia gardens. Volunteers from the Pennsylvania Horticulture Society plant and maintain this area. Wow, I don't want to walk too far into here because I don't really have permission to walk into here, but it's open, so it might be open to the public. I just want to show you guys a little bit of what this looks like, respectfully. Wow, look at this, guys. This is cool. It'd be nice to have a backyard that looks like this, right? Oh, look at the squirrel. Yo, he's standing up with two paws. Yo, they're coming to me, dude. Yo, the squirrels are Yo, there's a whole bunch of squirrels running to me, y'all. all coming to me yo subscribe dude subscribe to my youtube look at birds are coming to me and everything these are the friendliest animals i've ever seen in my life look at the squirrel he's yo, he's confused you saw me before on YouTube, haven't you, squirrel? Yo, there's like 10 squirrels around me, yo. I wish I had some, some food to give them. Come on, buddy. Ah, oh, that one squirrel took, I mean, the one bird took a dump. Ah, uh, that was decent, yo. Come here. You want to hang out? Subscribe. Tell all your homie friends to subscribe. Squirrely squirrels over and out, y'all. Yo, yo. What's up, little guy? Can I pet you? Oh, he's out. <laughs> he jumped. <laughs> yo, I felt like I was on an episode of Animal Planet. That was cool. 18th century garden. I wonder if the squirrels were that social in the 18th century. <laughs> yo, that was cool. Next time, I'm going to bring some, like, uh, chips for y'all. Yo, what y'all like? Cheese curls? <laughs> Say, I'm going to bring them some Fritos. Uh-oh, Meep Meep Squad. She's on a little pink two-stroke scooter. Y'all hear that? That scooter right there will have your willy in. You go, girl. Meep Meep. Thumbs up. She started laughing. I was serious. She don't know that I got one too. <laughs> she started cracking up, yo. She started giggling like if I was joking. No, nah, girl, I got a two-stroke 50cc scooter too. We could be riding together. I could teach you how to willy. <laughs> yo, that was funny. All right, y'all. We're going to try to make our way towards the riverfront. Over here, you have the historical park and whatnot. We're next to the Independence Center and all that stuff. We're right off of 5th Street. I believe right now we're on 4th Street, but we're like one block shy of 5th Street. 5th Street, and then you got 6th Street with all the, with, with, with the, with the, what you call that? The Liberty Bell and all that. Yo, I can't get over how friendly those squirrels were. Immediately when I started talking to them, they started running straight to me. I bet you if I would have had some type of object for them, they would have probably ran right up to me. I'm telling you, I say it again and again. There was this old man that I saw once when I was a kid. That's how I learned how to, how to do that. 
I ain't doing it perf- like I ain't doing it perfectly. But when I was a kid, there was an old man at the park who he called all the squirrels and they started running up his arms. They started getting on his shoulders. And he had like seven squirrels on him. He must have been talking to them in some shape or form where they understood him. He must have been a squirrel in his previous life. Because this man was like in his 70s, 60s, and he was calling the squirrels. We're on the borderline, y'all. This is 4th Street. So if we make a one turn to the left, look, at there's a whole classroom of, of what looks to be tourists. Either tourists and or students that are not from Philadelphia. But you see, they're all walking over here. Yeah, I'm just going to allow them to continue doing what they're doing because we're on a journey. We're trying to get to the pier. Amazon. Chess uh, camera strap. All right, no problem. Yeah, he asked me where I got the camera strap from. Yeah, I got like, I think three, maybe four of these trash cam straps. I had them for a while, you know, because I use them for like my bike videos. When I ride a pedal bike, when I ride the scooter, when I ride the, the supermoto, when I ride something like that, it's easier to go hands-free and to put one of these chest straps on. But usually if you go to Amazon, you type like chest camera strap, they'll pop up. They got different versions. I'm a fan of those style vintage road bikes. I really like those road bikes. We got the Bors Food Hall right here. The Bors Food Hall, check it out. We got Fox Philly, Fox 29 right here on my right. This is, if you ever watch Fox News, they're actually broadcasting right here from this first floor corner uh, office right here. I should get in the back of the back. Subscribe to 2 and 215. What's up, y'all? <laughs> Yo, click that thumbs up button. Turn the notification bell. <laughs> Yo, that'd be crazy, son. I gotta wait until they broadcast live and I gotta throw myself in the background with like a big sign like subscribe to Tune 215. That'd be like the biggest PR stunt ever. Yeah, right here. This is their their corner office. There's a green screen in there and everything. Yeah, I see it. I see the little fox desk. You guys can't see it, but I see the fox desk. And this will be their backdrop. This is 4th and Market. So this is uh, Fox Television Studios right here on 4th and Market, guys. The actual Fox News Studios. Yeah, I see their desk and everything. I don't see Mike Jarek there, though. Yo, I saw one of their actual, one of the staff members. I forgot the other dude's name. But this dude is so orange. I saw him in like in daytime when I was going to college. I saw him on like, I would say 17th and like Market. It was, it was either 17th and Market, like 17th and Chestnut. I was at a food court and I was eating lunch. I was probably in my 20s. I was probably like 20. Well, let me see. I was like 26, 20. No, I was probably younger. I was probably like 24, 24, 23, 24. And I was eating lunch and I saw this orange dot walk by. That man uses a whole lot of spray tanning. It's not Mike Jarek, but it's another dude. They got another dude that's on the cast too. I can't think of his name right now. Outdoor dining. You know, when I was young and I was in college, speaking of college, let's talk a funny little story up into fruition right here. When I was in college, back in my college days, I had an aspiration to be a camera operator for Fox, right? In my younger years, I'm going to take this red light. Please forgive me. I had aspirations to be a camera operator for Fox. And I was trying my best to do an internship with Fox before I graduated to school. Because in order to graduate, we needed to do an internship, right? So I was on my last year with, with uh, the school. And upon 
me applying to Foxes. That was on the list. You know, they gave us a list of places to apply for internships. The the school wrote the the Fox. I said the school. Fox News sent me back a letter, and it was a denial of internship. They said that I wasn't able to apply for an internship right now because they didn't have space to try again next year. But the thing is, is remember I told y'all that I was already graduating. So it was my last year. It was literally my last few months. And in order to graduate, I needed the internship. So instead, I ended up interning with a production company called Backseat Conceptions. That's when I got a chance to work on the music video for Motion City Soundtrack, which is like a rock band. We shot that in Philly for MTV. Well, it goes to show you that, you know, you don't always get what you wish for. You don't always get what you hope for. And good thing that I didn't get locked in the Fox because I would have probably got an internship with them. Then I would have probably ended up, you know, getting offered a job, something of that nature. And then I would have been a Fox employee to this day. <laughs> and then none of these things would have ever came to fruition. So everything happens for a reason, ladies and gentlemen. Everything happens for a reason. It's like sometimes you just got to keep your head up, stay positive, And, you know... Reach for the universe, because if you don't hit the universe, at least you'll smack into a star <laughs> or become a star. So we're on second and market. I'm going to take you guys up Market Street so that you guys can see the Penn Landing Pier. Yeah, it goes to show you. I tried to apply and get an internship for them, and they did not give me an internship. Yep, and I had one heck of a resume, too. And I didn't live far from here, which means that I would have been able to arrive on time. I follow orders well. You know, I speak fluid English. <laughs> yeah. I once had aspirations to be a camera operator for Fox News. Go figure. I actually knew someone that I went to college with who he was also in one of my TV studio classes. He was also of, of Hispanic descent and he ended up going to work for Telemundo. I believe right after we graduated, he went and started working for Telemundo, for Telemundo News. You know what I mean? I think he was like a camera operator of, or some sort, something of that nature, which isn't far from here either. Telemundo's close by. But you know what they say, everything happens for a reason, right? Everything happens for a reason, so I'm not disappointed. But I know, I think I do have that denial letter somewhere. I saved it. It's, it's stamped with the Fox logo and everything on the letterhead. And I figured I'd save it as motivation. So when I do make it, you know, I have that as proof to never give up, never surrender. Keep on persevering no matter what obstacles get in your way, no matter what dreams you have that get shot down. You know, when I was young, I was looking at that as a cool career because it was like, you know, you get paid to operate a camera. Those camera operators get paid anywhere from 40 to 80 bucks an hour. You know what I mean? And at the time, that sounded like a lot of money. You know what I mean? Now I look at it, it doesn't seem like enough. This is the 95 right here, guys. I'm facing northbound, behind me and southbound. All right, guys, we're almost at the riverfront, which is cool because that's what I wanted to take you guys to see. Obviously, we didn't walk through every single block in Old City just yet. I did Old City tours before, 
Old City driving tours. I've did Old City walking tours. I did Old City live streams. So if you want to see more of Old City, make sure to look through my page. I got a lot of other videos that have footage from this area. I feel like it's about to start drizzling. Yep, I feel drizzles. It didn't say anything about rain today. Today's supposed to be like 60, 65. Tomorrow's supposed to be like 70 ish. And then it's supposed to rain the next couple days after that. But good thing I didn't work for the news because I would have been held responsible for the false advertising. <laughs> say, now, yo, how, how many of y'all ever dressed for the news and then went outside and was completely unprepared because it ended up raining or? Or it didn't pan out the way it was supposed to. Right? That's, that's happened to me before. Look, they got a little, um, I wouldn't say amusement park. It's like a little carnival right here. You see? It's like a Ferris wheel. A little ice skating rink. Funnel cakes. I don't know if you guys can see it. This is the waterfront right here. Yeah. Might as well walk around at least. So you guys can get a little sneak peek. Cross River Rink Summer Fest. If you come here in the summer or on very warm weather, this whole little area is pretty packed. Give you guys another look. Water gun fun. They got actually beach sand here. They got sand right here. They had a couple little rides for children, mainly for children. I don't see anything being spectacular for adults. They even got mini golf. Miniature golf? They got miniature golf. They got a merry-go-round. Yeah. Choose Larry Krasner for Philadelphia District Attorney. <laughs> He's probably sitting in there. He heard my pitch. He's probably like, that's the voice that I need for my next commercial. <laughs> Could you imagine that? Like, he heard me say that line. Choose Larry Krasner. Yo, that'd be crazy. He'd be like, you, sir, sir, where are you from? What is your name? Would you like a job? I'm like, no, sir, I would not like a job. <laughs> Can I hire you to say that same line on a TV commercial? Sure, for $1.7 billion. <laughs> Say no. Nah. You could give me a hundred racks, and I might, you know, what I mean, I might drop a plug. All right, we're at the riverfront, ladies and gentlemen. This tour is going slightly over, just to show you guys this riverfront. I want you guys to at least see it. There's somebody over there with an e-scooter. He's out. He's out. Ring, ring, squad. Instead of meet, meet, squad. When you're on an e-scooter, it's ring, 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 squad. Oh, nice little tiny doggy. I've walked through this before in 360. It's on my page for those of you who are new to the channel. 360 virtual VR immersive tour. Feels like it's about to start drizzling, too. That's not good for me, because I'm out here in a t-shirt.
Funnel cake, fried Oreos, hot and cold drinks. I've always heard about fried Oreos. I've never been into that. I, I don't know. I, I don't think that tastes good fried. <laughs> like, why would you want to fry an Oreo? Same thing with fried ice cream. I've always heard about that. I never even understood how that works scientifically. Like, doesn't ice cream melt when you put it in heat? How can you fry ice cream? This is the little skating rink area. As you can see, it's empty. There's nothing to look forward to right now. We got the Benjamin Franklin Bridge on my right. And then we also got the Camden Aquarium. We got this, what is it? A Ferris wheel, right? It's called a Ferris wheel. I've been on a couple varieties of Ferris wheel. I've never been on this one, but I've been on a few Ferris wheels. Look at this boat. Captain Morbell. I said Morbell, Captain Morgan, Hennessy. Oh, yeah, Corbell. That's why I got Morbell and Corbell mixed up. <laughs> I read the Captain from the Captain Morgan and read the Corbell from the Corbell box and said both brands together. Wow, he's taking all that liquor into that boat. <laughs> he's gonna be riding that boat under the influence. I definitely could use some high quality H2O. Wow, that's a beautiful dog. It's a boy. And he didn't snip his testes, which is cool. A lot of people get the dogs neutered or spayed. I'll be feeling bad for the dog, you know? Like, how would you like to be neutered or spayed? <laughs> but then again, women get spayed, right? Women get their tubes tied, right? Right, right? Am I right or am I wrong? After so many children, women get their tubes tied. <coughs> ladies and gentlemen this will conclude our very short tour of the old city neighborhood in philadelphia we're going to top it off right here at penn's landing we reached our one hour mark we're well over it i want to say thank you guys for watching show some love in the comment section let me know your thoughts share any memories share any knowledge leave a comment in the comment section so other viewers from the world wide web across the globe can read your comment and engage with you and you guys can, you know, socialize. With that being said, don't forget, click that thumbs up button. Every thumbs up is greatly appreciated. I want to say thank you. This is your homeboy, Tune, Mr. Tune, 215, Tune Dallas, Tune Ski, Tune Be Chillin', Tunism, Tuner, Tunage, Bad Tune, Super Tune, Tune Ski, Tune Er, Kali, Fragile, Listic, XB, Ali, Doshas. <laughs> Yo, I swear I got a brain fart. I got a brain fart. I was about to say tune be chillin'. And then I said tune er Kali Fragilistic X B Ali Docious. But yeah, tune Kali Fragilistic X B Ali Docious. And I'm tuning out. <laughs>